morning, Kurds Cougars. I'm Enzo. Today is Friday, March 18th. Joining me today is my co-anchor, Savannah, on this lovely Friday. Hello, everybody. I hope you have it. Everyone is having a wonderful Friday and a great week. We have much to share with you today, but first, here is birthdays with McKenna and Audrina. Hey, Kurds kids. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Kurt's kids. Happy birthday to you. Okay, let's take a look at the birthdays for this week. On the 18th, there are no birthdays. On the 19th, Charles B. Charles B. On the 20th, Chloe H. And Adeline M. Uh, that's all the birthdays for now. We'll see, see you next, next week. week. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday, Kurtz kids. Now let's take a look at next week's weather with Austin and Calvin. Hello, it's me, Austin. And I'm Calvin. Next week's weather forecast looks like we will have very similar weather with highs around mid-40s to 50s. It looks like we may have a little bit of rain and snow in the middle of the week. Today we're going to be talking about double rainbows. Double rainbows. Double rainbows are formed when sunlight is reflected twice within a raindrop with the violet light that reaches the observer's eye coming from the higher raindrops and the red light from lower raindrops. This means the sequence of colors is inverted compared to the primary rainbow with the secondary bow appearing about 10 degrees above the primary bow. Wow, two rainbows at once? Every time I've seen a rainbow, there has only been one. We hope you have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for the weather, guys. Remember, even though spring is almost here, make sure to dress appropriately. Now let's take a look at the book recommendations from Thomas and Jackson. Hey, hey Kurt Scooters! Welcome, welcome back, back to Spotlight, Spotlight Books. Books. Today, we are back with a book, an author, and a fact about the author. Today, I have a partner in crime, someone you probably have seen before, Jackson. The book we will be doing today is, drumroll please, Find and Go We, the, by Dion Leonard, which was in the past book fair. Dion Leonard will be our spotlight author. I have a question, Jackson. What is the fact? The fact is, Dion Leonard met Gobi in 2016, and Gobi is still alive today and six years old. Well, that's all we have today. Keep reading and have a great week. See ya! Thanks for that look at books with Jackson and Thomas. As you guys know, this month is March's Reading Month. Here's DJ and Jack with a commercial about what will be happening happening at Kurt's next week. I'm DJ. And I'm Jack. And we're the commercial guys bringing you another commercial. Did you know, every March at Kurt's, we celebrate March's Reading Month. March's Reading Month is designed to motivate Americans of all ages to read every day. Next week will be our last week for March's Reading Month. We have some gold medal reader activities planned. Next week, make some time to read some poetry, jokes, and riddles. We, we will also be dropping everything uh, in reading on Tuesday at school. On Thursday, Plan to wear a hat that someone can read. We will wrap up March's Reading Month, and on Friday we will be wearing PJs. Make sure to donate a dollar for fifth grade so you can wear PJs. I'm looking forward to all these events coming up next week. Because it's the end of almost the end of March's Reading Month, me, me and you should go start reading. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Well, we'll be right back. Remember, reading is super important. Let's take a look at the learning lingo with Marcy and Sophia. Hola, bonjour. Ni hao. Hello, and welcome back to, to Learning Lingo, where we teach you a few different words in a few different languages. Now, you may have heard us <coughs> that yesterday was St. Patrick's Day. And in honor of that, I think the word of the week should be Shira. Just in case you don't know what that is, it's just a clover. But you know what would make it even better, Sophia? What? If we said it in the language, drum roll please, Irish! Because St. Patrick's Day originated in Ireland. 
By the way, that's where they speak Irish. Anyway, it's sham rap. Hold play. on, Sophie. I know we already did a drum roll, but let's just do it for fun. Okay. Three, two, one. Dr can we have a drum roll, please? Irish. In Irish, it's C Mer Ock. If you say it faster, I'll take it that it's C Mer Ock. Wait, but did you know that C Mer Ock also doesn't only mean shamrock? It also means young clover. Well, that's cool. I didn't know that. Well, I guess that's all for today, Kids Cougars. Hope you guys caught some leprechauns. And found some four leaf steam marags yesterday. Ciao! Thank you, Sophia and Marcy. Now, now here's Krista with what's happening around Kurtz. Hey, Kurtz Cougars, I'm Krista, and today we're going to see what's going on around Kurtz. As you can see, construction is still going on. The area we're working on right now is going to be the new office. It is going to be really, really big. I know it can be a distraction, but make do your best to keep on learning. Thank you. Thanks for the update, Crystal. Our school is really going through some changing shape. Now let's have everyone rise for the saying of our Pledge of Allegiance. Let's rise. Next week on Friday will be PJ Day for $1 to support the 5th graders and their Rubik's Cube project. Well, that's all the news we have for you on this wonderful week. We hope you all have a great week and hopefully have an awesome weekend. Have a great day!